<laughs> nice. All right. Another, another soldier Uber. I should have probably left that Uber, shouldn't I? Uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's a lot of sh stuff going on. I think I kind of know what's happening. So, like, obviously your team is is kind of noob, but that doesn't really affect things in like a major way. Um, I think the th three biggest things that I've noticed so far are like the camera placement, the positioning, and the heal order. What I kind of mean, like, how, how I like to think about the class in an ideal world, like, Medic is the slowest class, and, like, generally your team is entirely held up by the stuff that you have to do, basically, like, healing people and buffing and getting uber and how fast you move. So, like, mitigating those things is kind of how to play Medic. So, I guess the first point I want to address, like, I guess we can continue watching, and I'll, I'll point out an example of each, but... So, like, this is a good example. Like, here it's all about order. You need to be healing the guys who are going to shoot the guys in the choke. Like, this guy is basically your number one priority, and this guy is your number two priority. And you, like, never want to heal this guy if you don't have to. Um... Does it intuitively make sense why I say that? Or, like, should I explain more? It, it, it makes a bit of sense. Sure, explain it. So, generally, there's, like, in any given situation, there's, like, a class that you kind of ideally wish had the most HP. And, like, when you're holding a choke point, it's a soldier or a demo because they're the people who can, like, stand in the choke and trade their their HP for damage really efficiently. Like, does, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so, like, in a stalemate situation, your soldiers have extremely high value when you heal them. So, like, tanking FM here, or your demo, like, would be the most valuable play. Versus, like, your scout having 185, he has literally no effect on the choke point. Or, like, what's happening in the game. And then vice versa, when you're in an open fight... um. Soldiers have, like, the least impact. You really want to heal the scouts, because they can, one, make you move around faster when you're healing them, which is very good. But two, they're, like, generally the ones who are protecting you and doing the most direct fighting. Like, soldiers, for the most part, like, need a certain amount of HP to be able to jump and move, but, like, ultimately their life will be forfeit kind of beyond their control sometimes when they have to fight a scout, you know what I mean? So that's, like heal order so all of this should just be like an introduction stuff to keep in mind as you continue to like focus on improving so that was the first first part and talk about probably positioning next yeah see okay so yep. this is actually probably both positioning and camera positioning generally the hardest part about playing medic is understanding the things that threaten you right in like any given situation you know, if you're walking through chokes and, like, going around corners, you have to be worried about, like, a demo trap or a soldier bombing high. Or, like, in this situation where you're just even and you're, like, defending. You're on second, they're on mid. So, like, you should know that their kind of only recourse here is to send a soldier sack. So that should ideally be the only kind of thing that you care about. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, so, Kyle, can I add? Yeah, please. Um, uh, another thing that can help is um, match HUD at the top of your screen. Yeah. It will. It can help you decide like how you should be like walking through a doorway. If you know that they don't have a demo, you can walk through a doorway like um, a lot quicker and a lot safer. Yeah, I, ha I um, have that. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, if they don't have soldiers, then you don't have to worry about any soldiers bombing you or you just have to worry about demo traps so making like paying attention to what players are up and what players are dead um will like uh will like change how you walk through doorways and how you play different situations yeah i think that's i, I would say that's like more long term something 
you probably don't need to focus on right away, but as you get yeah. better, it will become very relevant. True, 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 true. Yeah, so... I did, learn, I, did, I did learn a bit of that learning to, like, mainly call as Pocket Scout. So let's see, okay. You should ideally, like, have your eyes kind of on where the soldiers are. So, like, I would be looking at these guys' choke here, being like, okay, what is happening? And I would play, like, back here, kind of, because what I fear is the demo spam. It's like, it's easy for him to spam over the fence. And the other thing is the soldier bombs. So I really want to be in a good position to deal with those bombs. Usually, like, being behind this tower, having great vision of both the valley and choke will help you prevent these. And I just kind of look up. It's... Okay, yeah, so that's kind yeah, of what... point there was the... Thing yeah, exactly. So like you're essentially just losing sight of like the only thing that can kill you. And that's that's a really important fundamental. Your team salvages, so it's not too bad. But yeah, you you see what I mean, right? About like uh how uh, camera placement and positioning are like based on what the threats are. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the, the main point I wanted to get across about that. 